Hey guys, I'm FHRC Brony, and today I'm here to actually show you guys um, what, as an RC, as an experienced RC hobbyist, I just wanted to uh, share this to you guys out there who are noobs to RC. Like, if you guys are new to the RC hobby and think about where are you um, starting off with an RC car and stuff like that. So, Right at, at, right at what I have over here is a Traxxas slash two wheel drive, and then over here on the left is a Traxxas Vortec 2.0. Um, the thing is, uh, first of all, I want you guys to do your research first, okay? The, uh, I've, I've been a Traxxas lover ever since I got my, my Traxxas slash two wheel drive over there. And um, I may sound biased, but even though I would say go for Traxxas because they're of their parts availability and and as far as their um, local hobby stores are concerned because Traxxas does sell a lot of uh, their parts and stuff like that at local at your local hobby store but um, I, I would do I would have to tell you this that there are plenty of companies out there that are that can make far better quality uh, RCs than Traxxas for example Arma is one of them and and yeah, so just basically what I'm trying to say, just do your research and uh, think of what you are going to end up buying. Um, also, compare prices and stuff like that. Like, um, you really want a short course truck or something like that from Traxxas, but you can find one from a different company that that has really good quality for a cheap price. Think about it though. Think about what you're going to buy. Do your research. And make the best as, uh, as possible when you shop for RC cars. Now, in this video, I'm just going to show you generally um, what you should you get. Like, okay, I already made my decision. I want to get this this uh, brand. I want to buy an RC car from this brand. So, what should I get though? Because this brand makes off-road and on-road RCs. So, what should I get? An off an off-road RC or an on-road RC. Now, let's put it this way. For an off-road RC, you can you can drive that thing almost anywhere you want, such as dirt, uh, asphalt, any street conditions, and snow, mud, water, mud, grass, assuming if, if it's not really tall grass, pretty much anywhere you can think of. With on-road RC cars, you're only limited to driving that thing on the street, such as asphalt, tarmac, even though I don't really know any country that would use tarmac as their default uh, road surface. Mm. But uh, asphalt, tarmac, um, par empty parking lots, um, sidewalk concrete, Basically, and pretty much, or even carpet. Um, some RC, some RC tracks out there do have carpet tracks for on-roaders for on-road cars. But what I'm trying to say is here is with with on-road RCs, they have limitations. You can't really take them out on the dirt unless you're upgrading them to to rally cars. Okay. But generally speaking. Your final decision comes to this question. What am I going to get though? And where am I mostly gonna be driving on? Actually, that right there is actually the big question. If I'm gonna buy an RC car from this manufacturer, such as Traxxas, where am I mostly gonna be driving on? Am I gonna be driving more on the on-road, on street conditions? Or am I going to be driving more on with off-road conditions? If if the answer you really fall to is going with off-road conditions, most of the time you're going to go with mixed surfaces such as street, uh, dirt, snow, and basically what I'm trying to say is a mix of on-road and off-road surfaces. Get yourself an off-road RC because it can do that. But if you're if your final decision is regarding only strictly for on-road use, then get yourself an on-road RC. Either or, they both have their disadvantages and advantages though. But, I don't want to be biased here. 
I tried, I'm trying to make, uh, do my very best to give you guys as much as I can uh, when it comes to buying a new RC for the first time. Like I said, the real question is real, the real answer to whatever question that I'm giving to you really is up to you guys. Would you want to drive mostly on off-road surfaces? Or do you want to drive mostly on on-road surfaces? But if, if, if you're most, most of the time, uh, some people are like this, like, I really do want to have, I, I mostly drive on the street though, but I still like the looks of an off-road car though, so should I get an off-road RC car? Of course you can. I mean, I'm not trying to say that um, on-road cars are supposed to be on-road cars and off-road cars should be only for off-road. I mean, you can do whatever you want. It's just the mindset that's coming from you guys. It's like kind of like all over the place. You really need to, just to calm yourself down and think about what you're mostly going to be driving on. But I'm not... But the stupid thing is, don't buy an RC, an on-road RC car and take it out on the dirt. Don't be like that. I was like that. I was I was just doing that for fun, if you've seen those videos. But um, the thing is, unless if you're going to be making an on-road RC car turn into rally car, don't drive it on the dirt, okay? But if you're really thinking about going for off-road stuff, generally speaking, if you're going to go with off-road, most of the time, get yourself the off-road RC. If you're going to be driving mostly on the streets, you can pick either or. You can pick either an on-road car or an off-road car. But the decision is really up to you. It's really a matter of personal preference. I don't really want to have a bias here. So, maybe one day I will have a video of, of my biased opinion, but I don't think you guys will like that. So anyways, that is all for now. Generally speaking, on-road RC cars are strictly for on-road use. Off-road RC cars are meant to be driven almost anywhere. So, the decision is up to you. Would you want, which, where, what service do you mostly drive on? On-road or off-road? Make your bet, make your decision, do your research, and search for prices and availability, and then you're all set. Also, hope you enjoy your new RC once you get it.